Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to be showing you the line drawing and pen differences between the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Go 2. Uh, what are they like to use? What are some of the problems? And which one should you get? So the test we're going to do, we're going to use two different pens. We're going to use the standard stylus uh, by Microsoft. This is the one button stylus, it has Bluetooth, the eraser, and uh, it's pretty good. And then I'm also going to be testing with the Raphael 520 stylus. This is the one I prefer. It's a two-button stylus, eraser, and right-click. And both of them are using the exact same tips, which is the uh, soft nib, HB nib, that comes with uh, the pens. Okay, so we're going to do some line tests, compare them, and talk about what things uh, you kind of should expect when you're looking at both of these devices. And this is the i7. And this over here is the M3 model. Now that's not really going to matter too much. I'm going to do a speed test, but you could get the i5 Surface Pro 7, uh, which is quite quite quick. Um, and this is the M3 model, 8 gigabyte. And you could get the uh, lower end Surface Go. And all of these results are going to differ when it comes to speed. So really, we're going to be looking at the pen tech between these two devices. All right, so we're going to go over here to the side. And we're going to draw with the R520 first, and we're at uh, roughly 500% zoom. And this actually makes a really big difference. So we'll do lines here, we'll do three lines, and then let's zoom in to about a thousand percent. I want you guys to see the quality of the line is almost perfect at this zoom level. And then we're going to zoom to about 100%. And I want you to see just here how much difference it makes in the line quality and jitter, that amount of zoom. All right. So let's pick a new color. We're going to use the Surface Stylus. And let's go ahead and pick this color. I'm using the Tablet Pro Pen Tool to remap the side button on the Surface Pen. Uh, oh, you know what? I did this wrong. I need to be at 500% for this first one. Okay, 500%. And let's zoom to 1,000%. And let's zoom out to 100%. And you can see here kind of how that looks. Here again, more wobble in these ones, almost perfect in the center, and fairly decent in the first. Okay, now our pressure test on these two. We're going to go, um, let's go ahead and pick a darker color. And we're going to go light to heavy, back to light. That's really hard. It drops off here at the end. This is actually the hardest part. So the easy part, you put the uh, pen just on the screen, start dragging it just with the weight of the stylus. And then push a little harder and then try and return it back to dragging just the weight of the pen. Really difficult to do. This is actually very impressive in what you're looking for, uh, especially since the Surface Go 2, I don't think has the same amount of pressure as the Surface Pro 7. And back to light. All right, so you can see this little bit of fall off here, uh, the fall off here. Uh, those two things are uh, things you want to uh, actually pay attention to. All right, so those are the two styluses for pressure. Uh, let's go ahead and label that R and S, surface and R520. All right, so let's go ahead and go over to the Surface Pro 7. Now, both these machines, you should notice the smoothing is at zero. Uh, again, I have the pixel or the pixel size of seven. Hardness 70%. I'm using soft round brush. Uh, I'm zoomed in at basically 500%. And let's go ahead and repeat these. 
zoom in to a thousand. And zoom to 100. See here the line quality differences between the Surface Go 2 and the Surface Pro 7. We're seeing a lot more uh, variance in pressure, more than we're really seeing difference in jitter quality, which is a little surprising to me. But, um, all right, let's use the Surface Pen. All right, uh, first test is at 500 zoom. And I'm trying to press about the same on uh, all of these tests. I guess I did that one softer. My goal is to just be as accurate as possible and consistent as possible through all of these. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the um, pressure. So we'll start here with the surface. And second, we'll do the Raphael. All right, okay, so uh, here's what I'm seeing. Here's my conclusion on these. Uh, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing uh, pressure response is better. Pressure response is better on the Surface Pro 7 on the R520 stylus. Um, both are decent. You're getting a little bit more fall off here where you're just dropping from uh, low pressure to no pressure instead of going to light pressure. Uh, whereas here you're seeing lighter. On the Surface Go 2, you're actually seeing the opposite. Here you're seeing the drop off on the uh, R520 and you're seeing uh, a better uh, fade to zero on the Surface Stylus. Uh, so that should be noted. Definitely pay attention to that. As far as line quality goes, um, I'm not seeing a big difference in line quality uh, in between the, the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Go 2. I actually expected, like I said, to see more. Um, here, again, this is the Surface Pro 7, and this is the Surface Go 2. You're seeing more difference in pressure, which you can adjust in the Surface app, than you are seeing in line quality. All right, so let's talk a little bit about speed. All right, so here's our quick speed test. For some people, this is going to matter. For other people, it won't. We were in a 3,000 by 2,000 pixel canvas. Oh, I don't know what size we were in. All right, let's just go ahead and make this bigger. All right, here we go. All right, now we're going to take this all the way up to 5,000. Okay, we're going to take the pen, and we're just going to go down and over to the side. Okay, we're going to adjust the color. Let's just make it here, and we're gonna do the same thing with the Surface Stylus. All right, we're gonna do that same test on the Surface Go 2. All right, we're a little bit out of focus, but I think you guys get the idea. Um, let's go ahead and put about the same size that we had on the Surface Pro 7. We're gonna start with the R520, and let's bring the pixel size up to 5,000. We're seeing a bigger variance in pressure here. All right, and let's change the color. Uh, if you guys want to know how the Surface Go 2 compares to the Surface Go 1, 
the cheapest model of the Surface Go 1 versus this M3 model of the Surface Go 2. Um, I have a video up for that. I'll put it in, the, in I'll put a link to that in the description. All right, and let's go ahead and bring this down actually to uh, about a thousand pixels. And you want to keep your your hand away from the screen, the pen away from the screen while you do this. We are not going to be able to see that at all. Let's change colors. Okay, thousand pixel brush. That's the Surface Stylus. Let's see. R520. Let's do that one more time with a different color. It's actually pretty fast. All right, let's go to the Surface Pro 7. All right, Surface Pro 7, we're going to drop down um, our size to about 1000. And let's change the color. And it's pretty much instantaneous, R520. Uh, let's change the color one more time. Oh, and it's just, it's so fast. That's a thousand pixel brush. So, and that's not something that I think a lot of us are gonna be using on a regular basis. Let's go ahead and look at one more. Let's look at a 100 pixel brush. Um, obviously this size is let's just go here uh, 100 okay it's, it's going to be instantaneous and we already know it all right let's look at the surface go to all right surface go to and we're going to check the pixel size here down to 100 let's go ahead and make this exact <laughs> Uh, made me happy. Okay, all right, uh, adjusting the size. Uh, by the way, this is key press OSD, which shows all the keyboard shortcuts and makes uh, sounds and beeps. Oh, that color is just a little too close. Let's get something orangey. And at 100 pixels, we're, we're basically uh, just flying through it, there's not any lag, and this is just the basic brush. So it's going to vary from uh, tool to tool, tool to tool, uh, greatly, massive difference between those. But this kind of gives you an idea there on the speed. So last thing to talk about here, what about the actual machines, uh, what things am I not showing the video that you guys would want to know about? On the Surface Go 2, I get phantom touches. So occasionally uh, there'll be touches on the screen and uh, palm rejection issues down here. And occasionally touches, not there, but um, but over here, I'll get phantom touches sometimes. I'm not exactly sure if that is the Surface Go 2's problem, but that's what I see. Um, up here, let's use very, very red. Up here, this gets hot, actually quite hot up in this area. Um, very uncomfortable to touch sometimes. This is fanless, which I really, really like. And I wish, uh, with the exception of gaming, which I rarely actually do on my Surface Pro 7 anymore, I really wish that I had the Surface Pro 6 i5. It's actually my favorite machine for drawing the that's uh, Microsoft Surface brand. Surface Pro 6, i5, favorite machine, by far. Um, quiet, and there's no, no problems, no bugs. Okay, the Surface Go 2, you've got that fall off, so you go up, and then it just doesn't taper down quite so well. Um, Surface, the Surface Stylus does it better on the Surface Go 2 than the R520. Okay, for... The Surface Go 2, that's really my complaints right there. There's not really anything else. Battery life is pretty decent. I like the size and the weight. Uh, the Artist Pad is less responsive on the Surface Go 2. I don't know if a firmware update will fix that or not. It works pretty good, and then sometimes it just stops. And I'm not exactly sure why, but keep that in mind. The other thing that um, doesn't always affect all programs, if you're just 
taking notes or you're doing something with smaller line work is not always going to matter. But in certain programs, especially like Krita, um, Clip Studio, and a couple other ones, there's certain brushes that just, this is wrecked. Uh, so let me just demonstrate that. Okay, smooth pressure, looks nice. Palm on the screen. You can see this um, really, really, really affects, really affects the line quality, the pressure. So that is a massive deal. So we go here to our pen pressure, push down and up. You see it's nice and smooth. Let's put palm on the screen. And you can see this really jaggedy staircasing right here with the pressure. It just jumps as if it were a hundred levels of pressure instead of 4096. So keep in mind that is going to be uh, affecting some people's artwork. It doesn't affect everything in certain programs. They uh, interpolate between pressure levels anyway. I think I'm saying that right. And so it's going to be smoother in certain programs versus other ones. Um, Surface Pro 7, otherwise is really not, not bad. The pen tool does not work on it. So that means when we were remapping the side button here to undo uh, or the hover color picker or some other, other thing cannot be done on the Surface Pro 7 because there is a bug, I believe, with Surface Pro 7. We're working on it. It is not yet fixed yet. So when you're looking at these different things, keep that in mind. The Artist Pad from Tablet Pro works very, very nicely. Um, Clip Studio is fantastic on both machines. So is Paint Tool Sci. Those are the two programs I recommend highest, more than Photoshop. But you're probably going to want to pick your drawing program based off the type of art that you want to create more than uh, some of the other types and other things that we look at when we're looking at drawing programs. And I'll have a video about that soon coming out. Uh, all right, you guys, what other questions do you have between the Surface Pro 7, the drawing experience, and the Surface Go 2? Uh, what would you like to know that I didn't show? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, stay creative. Thank you.